it's a privilege for me to introduce our plenary session with two very distinguished speakers who I believe don't need much introduction. Victoria Vesna, head of uh, media department at UCLA, a pioneering artist in the field of art and nanotechnology, and James Mijewski, of course, pioneering scientist and uh, who received many international awards for his pioneering work. I do art projects, um, but I'm primarily a scientist and I work with Victoria and together we, uh, we somehow create things that are um, somewhere like between art and science. So the piece actually started with two pieces of science that relate to nanotechnology and I'll... So there's a butterfly and it's called the uh, Blue Morpho. There's a whole variety of them. And this is uh, one of the characteristics of this butterfly. It has a beautiful blue wing. But actually the wing itself is not blue as a, a pigment. It's, uh, it's, it manipulates essentially light, which are photons, and it manipulates it using a, a protein which is black and air which is uh, transparent. And if you look into those stripes, there are even more stripes. And these small stripes, the ones that are um, more or less going this way, they're about a couple of hundred nanometers apart, so they're quite, quite close together. Yeah, these things, these minutes. So this structure here makes that beautiful blue, but it's actually black. It's quite interesting. And many uh, people are interested in, nan in nanotechnology. L'Oreal, which is a big, uh, you know, cosmetic company, they would like to get rid of color, which is used, you know, in pigments, because it's uh, not very good for your skin to use chemicals. And so they're trying to basically use bioinspiration to generate stuff like this that goes on your face. At the moment, you know, if you have this, uh, you know, this stuff that makes your face look shiny, it's uh, lots of little glass balls, actually. Little tiny glass balls about the size of hair in diameter. And that's also not very good for your skin. I don't know if this would be good for your skin, but it could be made. I have to say, when this project is kind of strange because the research is not something that really interests scientifically Jim and his lab. It just kind of came around and he thought it was interesting, but there was nothing really that, that was scientifically important for the research they were doing. And he kept sending it to me, it's great for art, and I kept looking at it and thinking, butterflies, what do I do with butterflies? Um, until I saw those bursts. That's when I just thought, this is really amazing, because all of us, or most of us, somehow assume that change is gradual, that we can kind of move into change, or that um, we can control change, we can somehow be in charge of how we shift in our lives. But if you think on a personal level, when does something major change in you? It's either when there's something really dramatic, like you win a million dollar lottery, it changes you, it changes your life, it changes everything around you. Or somebody dies, or you have a near-death experience, it changes you. So it's something very dramatic, it's a burst. <clears throat> so scientifically, this, uh, <laughs> this dome here, this was a lot of work in this experiment, in this particular thing. What we did was we attached this, uh, it's like an, um, what is it called? Umbical, no? Yeah. Umbical. So that is an umbical cord here that actually connects the uh, person to the universe. It's very data. And uh, it does that through nanovibrations in their brain, which connect to the vibrations in the dome, which were actually generated by the high voltages outside connecting to the universal vector potential. It's a pain. So she's sitting on a sen uh, sensor-based seat that uh, was engineered in Jim's fabrication lab. Really high-end, amazing technician, Rooney, 
who did just a beautiful job, says plexiglass, and it gets activated when you sit completely still. So the, the butterfly patterns and the sound shows up when you're actually silent and still. Anyway, he sat on this thing, and I could, people could feel the energy field from him. I mean, it was, and it transformed his life. This is Yuta Nakamoya. <clears throat> He's a um, wonderful software engineer and Zen Buddhist. And it would be great if the lights would be out and the sound really brought up. Yeah, the sound is based on the transformation of the butterfly into the, from the It's really his work, and we're very curious to see how it morphed here in uh, Prague, because it was all done online, and we told him, it's your thing, just let us know, surprise us. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, they sponsored the uh, you know, work I did on um, cells, you know, uh, related to cancer cancer themselves. Um, from there then, 